What's the difference of Danny Garcia in this camp versus well, my previous camp? Because you say he's we learned from our mistakes from the past, okay. and that made us stronger mentally. That's what we're making us a better camp mentally. You know, we made us stronger. It made us see the truth. It opened up our visions. What is the truth? A lot of things. There's no real friends out there. A bunch of haters and betrayers. And you don't even trust. I can trust. He can trust me. That's about it. That's the truth. People love gossip. You do gossip. Everybody loves it. It's true. That was but the truth. Nobody knows the truth. There is a God. That's all it is. That's the truth. Brandon Rios is gonna sit in the middle of the ring and oh, try. Oh, he gonna come out there with some dumb shit. Uh huh. Make sure no one dropped their phone. I heard it. Okay. Okay. He gonna come out there with some dumb shit. He gonna get knocked the fuck out. Another one. What's the preparation going into Saturday night from this point on, Angel? Eat, get strong right now. Get strong. Eat, get strong. Uh, what's the walk-in weight? 161? That's what Danny do. It's our job. Uh, what's the it's our job. We, if we pass that level, get nervous and all that shit. What's the walk-in weight? It's like going weight? to a new job. You know, you always get a little nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's past that. We pass that level, man. Uh -huh. When did you get past it, Angel? When did you stop guys getting nervous? We passed that level, man, like 15 years ago. When Danny was a little kid, he used to lose himself mentally. Does Danny Garcia power carry up to 147, you think, Angel? He said yesterday he just got into 147. Does that mean his power is there this fight? Well, he said he just well, felt he comfortable. What does that mean? That he grew into it because it takes a couple fights before you grow into things. Okay. It's like when you become a junior walkway. You know what I'm saying? You grow into it. <laughs> <laughs> Define right. You know what What's right? Define right. Like meaning right. If the first there to be right, the money got to be right. Cause you ain't gonna do this for the for the for the lovey dovey. Cause you ain't gonna go out drinking later. Speaking of that, speaking it's of money, be right. What brought y'all to Vegas as opposed to Barclay? Well, you know, I love the Barclays, man. Uh huh. I love the Barclays. Well, your Puerto Rican family. Well, besides that, cause a lot of boxing fans. There. Sure. You sure. have anybody. Mm -hmm. Any show that you're gonna pack it. Mm -hmm. There's so many boxing fans in New York City uh -huh. that anybody could pack. It's a great place. A lot of it's a lot of all, all sure. kind of cultures uh -huh. out there. 
Mm -hmm. But Vegas was offered to us, uh -huh. so I did it just to get Danny off the East Coast and get the West Coast a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's the second fight, fight out here. Robert yeah, Garcia, exactly. Robert Guerrero. Yeah, but our next that fight was gonna be, next fight gonna be in the East Coast. Okay. It might be the Barclays. Okay. Angel. I love the Barclays. Photo, man. Look at the picture. What's up, bro? Hey, I got it. Hey, hey. Hey, Angel, I got it, man. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I laughed my ass off when you said he broke his elbow. How do you break an elbow? Like, that reminded me of Mike Tyson when he said, I broke my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, swear to God. I got to keep it 100 with you, Angel. You know what he said was, I got I got I feel like I got a break in my hand right now. <laughs> at the press conference, he said, no, at least he was honest, though. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I give him credit for okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. You know, he was honest, he was sugar coated. Oh, okay, okay. So you got, he's truthful. Oh, okay. so that's a good thing about okay. it. Okay, all right. That's the only thing I like about it, he's, no. he's, he's honest. Oh, okay. He's honest with himself. I got you. Somebody else would be lying and shit, you know, mm -hmm. sugar coating it. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, the guy, I would have wanted this would have been the rematch. Uh huh. Because I wanted the rematch. Okay, speaking like, of rematches. Day, this is a WBC eliminator. It seems yeah. like you guys have set up to fight Sean Porter. Keep it 100 with you guys. No, you're right. Uh -huh. You're right, but you know, like I said earlier. That's, that's a 50-50 fight. I'm going yeah, to keep it 100. No, no, it's good. That's it's a 50-50 fight. He's not a bad, he's not a bad fighter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's why he's in the top. Yeah, yeah. He's a lead fighter. Mm -hmm. Remember, all these guys, all these guys were 2008 uh -huh. class. Mm -hmm. They all, Danny yeah, you're right. broke up. Uh, right. Thurman, mm -hmm. Porter, Danny Jacob, mm -hmm. all these guys. Or the 2008 uh, uh, class of 2008 mm -hmm. Olympians. Mm -hmm. All these guys should have been the Olympians, mm -hmm. and they were the alternates. Yeah. What do you think? Of, what do you think? Of and Porter? they're all champions. Yeah. What do you think of Porter as a whole, Angel, as a fighter? I think Porter's a good fighter. I mean, he comes forward. He's an aggressive fighter because he's from the West Coast. You know, he reminds me more like a black Mexican. Yeah. He's very aggressive. You know, like Shane Mosley. Yeah. Black uh -huh. Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. That's real. That's real. That would have got us some Latino yeah, yeah, fans. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Imagine better. Uh -huh. Like Shane Mosley, they call yeah, him a black Mexican. Showtime ain't paying him for that name. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, Showtime. I mean, I talk bad about Speaking shit. of black Mexican. Speaking of black, <laughs> can we put the bed. I ain't trying to mess up the money. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of culture, can we put the bed about you being a racist book? But I want to preface this. No, yeah, it's good. Preface this. I grew up around a lot of Puerto Ricans. I grew up in New York. No, so right. I understand the culture. No, you're right. But also, also the older, the baby boomers look yeah. at you as a baby boomer. No, and they right. say, you shouldn't be using that word. No, you're right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what? Uh -huh. I went through a lot of racism myself. Oh, I'm, I'm with My mom, uh -huh. I, I came in the, in front of the, I came to the United States in the 60s. Uh -huh. Okay, my mom, they used to tell my mom to shut up. Uh -huh. Probably not to speak in mm -hmm. Spanish. Mm -hmm. And I, can, I had a whisper to my mom because she couldn't speak no English. Mm -hmm. And now as I got older, I mm -hmm. knew why. Because uh -huh. she wasn't supposed to speak uh -huh. uh, in mm -hmm. Spanish in the uh -huh. public. Uh -huh. So I went through. I went through. Mm -hmm. I 100 percent don't I believe you're a racist. Listen, brother, I used to get I used uh -huh. to get declined. Uh -huh. like when I went to school, it was 15 kids in the class. Mm -hmm. They used to deny my lunches, mm -hmm. free lunches, mm -hmm. welfare lunches. Uh -huh. Not to get me. So I got older. Uh -huh. I figured it out mm -hmm. why. Because mm -hmm. I was Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm used to ready. I throw them out and give them to me. I'm, I'm with all that. You know what I'm saying? Do you think, from a from a human perspective, yeah. an apology would have been an apology? Just no, even if you know, because it's not. Why am I Go ahead. I'm listening. Why am I gonna apologize for something I ain't do nothing? Because remember, people outside the culture. No, I know. I I'm in a hip hop culture with I you and your son. But you got more people in America that more racist than anybody, uh -huh. and they don't apologize. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of people that come here to kill people. The mm -hmm. president is racist. They got a lot of people that come here to kill people. Sure. It just happened And they only cross Canada, yeah. Little Creek. Mm -hmm. They don't have to go through the desert and barely mm -hmm. die in the middle of the desert jumping on a big wall to come to work. Because mm -hmm. how, how many Mexicans, Terry, you know? There is none. Mm -hmm. And all they got to do is come through Canada. The terrorists come through Canada and they cross the creek mm -hmm. right over. Mm -hmm. What's that? Tells you a whole lot right now. Appreciate you, that. Chinese Thanks, black you know. hey, Appreciate you, Kane. Thanks, Angel. How many Russian black you? <laughs> I gotta ask. The, my job is to ask the questions. No, I yeah, my job is to ask the questions. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you all that. I'm not trying to be raised. I'm just being truthful. Uh, you should. Uh -huh, the, truth, yeah. the truth is too big for me to cover my hand. Okay. Yeah. The I, sky is too big. That's a great. That's a great quote. Cover the sky. That's a great point. Yeah, because the right. truth is too big for my hand. Absolutely right. The truth yeah. is big as the sky. Absolutely right. And I'll say this. I'll leave you with this. Sometimes it's better to, better to win than to be right. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. All right, Kay. See you tomorrow night.